Next week is National Nurses Week, but many Michigan nurses were at the state capitol today advocating for legislation that they say would make working in a hospital more manageable. Our Nate Salazar was there with health care workers, and he's here for you now with what they're going through and what they think is preventing them from getting help. Nate? Well, Sherry Siobhan, excessive overtime, lack of hospital transparency, and too many patients per nurse. That's what nurses are saying they're seeing across the board. Today, they presented their plan to state representatives, saying it would solve what they call a nursing nightmare. What they need is a reasonable workload and a safe environment to safely take care of our community. Lori Batsloff is a registered nurse and one of the over 100 nurses who rallied at the Capitol today. They say our state is seeing a care crisis, a lack of nurses, and it's not because of fewer people coming into the industry. There are a shortage of nurses willing to work under the conditions that nurses are working under right now. They tell me uncapped hours and ridiculous patient to worker ratios are the reason for a third of life since nurses in Michigan refusing to be at the bedside. Their solution? The Safe Patient Care Act, a three-bill package that would limit the amount of patients per health care worker, make hospitals disclose those ratios, and limit mandatory overtime. Which is the typical hospital solution, just do more with less. The Michigan Hospital Association says it's skeptical, and any law that limits the patient-to-nurse ratio would only take medical attention away from the community. Our chief nursing officers are really in the best position to make those decisions, a one-size-fits-all uh, mandated approach certainly does not give us that flexibility and uh, really threaten the viability of our, uh, our hospitals throughout the state of Michigan. A survey done by University of Michigan shows 39% of nurses in our state plan to leave their job in the next year, and members of the Nurses Association think the CARE Act would reduce that number. We need regulations that will support nurses to be able to take care of their patients adequately. And once that happens, you will see nurses return to the bedside. Well, the Safe Patient Care Act was first introduced in 2017, but has never made it to the full floor vote. Nursing Association officials tell me this time around they are hopeful that with recent bipartisan support, it will make at least out of the committee.